So moving on to the second demo here of lab management. I'm just going to share my computer screen again. Move on to the second demo. So connecting to the environment again, we open up and we can see the Virtual Machine Manager. This is the uh, System Center Virtual Machine Manager, or SCVMM, uh, administration console that we're looking at here. On the top center pane, you can see the host. Uh, the host is the demo machine that's running the, um, the virtual environment. Uh, underneath there, we've got some information about that, uh, this particular host. We can see that uh, the latest jobs that were run, uh, the processor power of the particular machine, mm -hmm. the, uh, the diagnostics information, some memory, some storage, which operating system this is running on, um, the virtual environment, the virtualization software that we're, we're running on this particular uh, uh, environment, and the virtual machines that we've got running on, the, on this host that uh, we're going to be looking at in a, in a bit more detail. So moving down to the virtual machine tab, you can see that we've got four virtual machines on this particular uh, host, uh, two of which which are running at the moment as the domain controller running and the team foundation server running. Uh, you can see uh, in, the, in the lower pane, you can see that uh, how long it's been running for and some of the um, hardware information uh, that's uh, reserved for this particular machine. So there's four gig of RAM running and there's emulating a particular type of processor there. I'll talk about that in a bit more. Uh, the storage, the capacity of the uh, TFS server, and the actions across the side there, the, uh, the virtual machines. Um, we can create a new virtual machine or we can convert a physical server to a different type of machine. Um, some more actions relating to the virtual machine. We can stop the virtual machine or pause it if we want to make any changes. We can save the state of a particular machine or we can shut it down. Or we can connect to the virtual machine as well if we want to uh, control it directly. Moving down to the libraries, this is all the uh, resources uh, available to uh, SCVMM. You can see across the top there, there's the, uh, it's organized by type. So there's the uh, templates there. We've got several different types of templates stored in there. There's uh, different types of virtual hard disks, uh, a couple of ISO images as well that's going to be used. Moving down is a, a sort of a history of the jobs that have run on this particular machine recently. Uh, get some information so that if there's any issues, we can configure that. And moving down to the administration, which is more of a, a dashboard than anything else, there's uh, information on the host, which virtual machines are running, and, and a, a, a nice pie chart of the recent jobs that have run. We can see which ones have failed or which ones were cancelled, and some library resources as well, so we can see how many virtual machines we have running and how many virtual hard disks we have available. So moving on to Lab Center, which is built on SCVMM. Going to start all programs, Visual Studio 2010, and opening up Test Manager again. I'm not going to show you the uh, Lab Center, uh, the uh, TFS connection rather. We've, we've already seen that. So we open up straight away into Lab Center. Um, we can select between Lab Center and Testing Center at the top here. Testing Center is what we were in earlier, but I want to stay in Lab Center. And we're on the environment setting here, and we can see that there's absolutely no environment currently stored. Uh, for running a test. So I want to create an environment here, so I'm just going to drop down to new and create a new virtual environment. Uh, I need to give the new environment a name. And then I want to add the, uh, the template to this particular environment. So I, I select the template that's available there, that key nine amongst you would see that that was stored in the libraries uh, that we saw earlier. And I can assign a role to this particular uh, machine. I'm going to assign a web server role to that. And I'm going to add the same template again, but this time we're going to give it a different role. And as long as it has the appropriate hardware, uh, software even stored on the, on the template, then I can really get it to do whatever I, I want it to be. Um, so I'm going to reduce the memory on these. I really don't need a two gig of RAM on each one of those. Uh, I need to change the name of at least one of them, as this is uh, the same template that we're going to be using to cause all sorts of problems if we use the same one. 
Um, and lower down we can see the CPU and total hard disk size. Um, nine gig of hard drive will be uh, assigned to these partic this particular environment. And the CPU as well. Hyper-V allows us to emulate a Pentium D there, even though the, the environment, the server is running a, a, an Intel i7. So let's give you a bit more of an idea as to what Hyper-V can do for you. I want to run the test in this environment, uh, and it says that I need to add test agent and lab agent on these particular uh, environments. Um, when you create a template, uh, you, you can add whatever software you want as long as it's in the virtual machine stage of the uh, of system center. So that, that was added earlier uh, when I created the, the environment and turned them into templates. And moving on to the summary there, uh, just a quick look over, make sure I'm happy with everything, uh, and then click finish. So really it's, it's quite a simple um, process of creating an environment there for, for, for a tester um, as, as long as they know what they need, they can create it very quickly. These, um, it's not just um, Windows Server machines. We can, we can emulate any operating system, really, that we need to emulate, so we can create a, a massive environment, providing we have the, the hardware configuration available.